Participatory three-dimensional modeling or P3DM is a process which assists communities to make decisions in an innovative way on land use, land tenure and resource use issues. It assists decision making through providing a bird's eye view of a village, district or island, thus making it easier to view broader land and marine use patterns, taking into account key factors such as sustainable livelihoods, cultural practices, traditional knowledge, conservation priorities and development. The P3DM process integrates what is viewed from above with the traditional knowledge that communities hold. These are linked to elevation data from a Geographic Information System or GIS, which together provide a holistic viewpoint of the land and sea. The main output of the process is the construction of a 3D model of an area which facilitates the participation and active engagement of a large range of stakeholders, thus enabling the integration of bottom-up and top-down approaches to land use and marine resource planning. The 3D model is a multi-use tool that can be used for the identification of new conservation areas, environmentally sensitive areas, planning for climate change impacts, climate change adaptation, post-disaster assessments, disaster risk reduction, and others. The most important objective of the P3DM process is to empower communities and improve coordination, not only between government agencies, but also between communities, government agencies, and NGOs. This video documentary provides a snapshot of the outcomes and lessons of the P3DM process conducted in Tonga, Nauru and the Cook Islands under the multi-country GEFPAS funded Integrated Island Biodiversity Project. The P3DM process and models for the three countries were facilitated with technical support from the Samoa Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment with the assistance of CTA, the Technical Centre for Agricultural and Rural Cooperation. Vava'u is the most northern of three main island groups in the Kingdom of Tonga. The Vava'u group forms a beautiful mosaic of islands and reefs and is a significant marine-based tourist destination, particularly when migrating humpback whales are present. The first P3DM process under the Jeff Pass Integrated Island Biodiversity Project was conducted in the Kingdom of Tonga on the Vava'u Island group. It was also the first to have been introduced and conducted in Tonga. The P3DM process and 3D model of the Vava'u Island Group was completed and unveiled on Friday, 19th November 2015. The P3DM process and 3D model of the island of Elwa in the Kingdom of Tonga was also completed and unveiled on Friday, 18th November 2016. Elwa is a small hilly island close to Tongatapu. It has a population of 5,016 people as of 2011. Ewa Island, along with other uninhabited volcanic islands, holds the majority of Tonga's natural forests. It is important for whale watching, holds one of Tonga's two national parks, and supports nationally rare and endangered species. Both 3D models showed important conservation sites and habitats for key species based on local traditional knowledge of communities, information collected from the Vava'u Biodiversity Rapid Assessment, or BioRap, and spatial information supplied by the relevant government agencies. The wealth of knowledge and information contributed to the development of these 3D models are vital to the development of management plans for the new conservation areas identified for Vava'u and for future sustainable development plans for the Vava'u Island Group. For the island of Ewa, it is vital for conservation of native forests, conservation of rare and endangered species, and pinpointing whale watching areas. The Republic of Nauru is one of the world's smallest independent nations. It is unique, being an isolated sea mount and a single raised phosphatic limestone island. As a result of its remoteness and rare geology, Nauru's terrestrial ecosystems have relatively small numbers of species across different groups. Its marine ecosystems have limited diversity, however, globally rare species have been recorded in recent surveys. Nauru was the next Jeff Pass Integrated Island Biodiversity Country to initiate a P3DM process and develop a 3D model in April 2016. 
Furthermore, the P3DM process and construction of the 3D model created additional awareness and understanding of Nauru's biodiversity and the need for broader biodiversity conservation planning and mainstreaming into key sectors, including integration with climate change adaptation and disaster risk reduction. The 3D model for the whole island of Nauru was unveiled on Saturday, 16th of April 2016 in an official ceremony by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Nauru and the Minister for Commerce, Industry and Environment, the Honourable Member of Parliament, Baron Wonka. The process and model will help Nauru identify, establish and manage their natural resources, including proposed conservation areas. The island of Rarotonga has a steep, mountainous interior with associated cloud forest and an abundance of non-vascular species. Together, these play a critical role in water quality, also ensure the reliability of the water supply for the district of Vakapuaikura and for the rest of the island. The first P3DM process was initiated and 3D model for the Cook Islands was completed and unveiled on Friday 17th of June 2016 for the Vaka Puaikura district on the island of Farotonga. The process facilitated the active engagement of community members, elders, school students and government officials and will help the district to undertake a holistic and integrated approach to land use planning while maintaining sustainable use of their resources. The final product of the P3DM process, which is the 3D model, should continue to be used to guide planning and decision-making processes. The 3D model should be kept in a safe location away from bad weather, vandalism and tampering. The 3D model should be accessible and used effectively by all national and local stakeholders, community groups, students and individuals. It should be a living model that is continuously updated to incorporate all community, government and other stakeholder activities over time. In summary, the main outcomes and lessons from the participatory three-dimensional modeling process conducted and completed for all three countries confirmed and conveyed the following. P3DM is a cost-effective planning approach that empowers communities to actively engage in the process the P3DM is a mechanism for facilitating dialogue between different resource users, including between the older and younger generations, and for improving coordination amongst key stakeholders. The P3DM process is a platform for bringing together different viewpoints and provides a level playing field for all involved. The 3D model is a powerful tool for informing national and community level decisions on conservation planning and broader community development. The 3D model is an effective tool for education and awareness and historical documentation. <laughs>